Also new at four, we're learning more about the victims of a mass shooting in Washington Park. Two people were killed, another seven wounded in the gunfire last night. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemonyo, live force at the University of Chicago Medical Center, getting new information on those survivors. Suzanne. Jim Marie, there were a total of six victims brought here from that shooting. I spoke with two of them off hospital grounds. A woman now relying on crutches to walk and a man with a bandaged hand. Now, they both told me they did not want to go on camera because they now truly fear for their safety after that shooting at Washington Park. There were over 43 shell casings recovered. What we do know is two groups were shooting at each other. It's likely a gang-related conflict. Chicago Police Chief of Detectives Brendan Dinahan describes the shooting in Washington Park last night that left nine people shot. Two of those people, 43-year-old Lionel Coward and 19-year-old Khalil Denny, died. Dinahan says they want the public's help to identify who actually was discharging a firearm uh, to bring some of these people into custody. Superintendent David Brown says it's believed both sides were shooting at each other in the park. When asked if any of the victims that were injured have any criminal background or gang affiliation, Brown said. We don't know that yet. Um, we, we have yet to uh, get interviews uh, from these folks. Some are not cooperative, uh, but we'll keep at it. We just need the public's help uh, to confirm and corroborate some of the things that we right now don't know. Torrance Cooks says he organized a softball game in the park last night. Unfortunately, some of the high power machines they was using reached across the field and hit a few innocent bystanders in the legs and arms. In the meantime, Superintendent Brown says it is possible that an automatic weapon was used because, again, more than 43 shell casings were found at the scene. In Hyde Park, Suzanne Lemonyo, CBS 2 News. Suzanne, thank you.